This World Cup means a lot because it's going to be my first World Cup. The first time I came internationally was when I was 18, 19, so I've been there for a while, but I, always, but I also had my struggles. Struggles is a polite way of putting it. Four years ago, Kosovari Aslani was the teenage sensation of Swedish soccer. Then something even more sensational happened. She was cut from the 2011 World Cup squad. It was really tough, especially mentally. You learn from everything, so that year I learned a lot because I knew how much I had to work to get back in the best shape I've ever been in after missing the World Cup. So uh, it's going to be really cool to experience it. Since 2012, Kose has played in the epicenter of cool for European giants, Paris Saint-Germain. While her flair and style is a natural fit for the fashion capital, Sweden remains home. Although her family is still deeply rooted in a faraway, war-torn land. My parents came to Sweden from Kosovo, 88, one year before I was born. I think they sensed that it was something going on in the country with the war coming up. I think uh, that was the, the best thing they've ever done to come to Sweden because we got a safe uh, childhood. It's uh, difficult because I'm really proud of my origin, like I'm proud of Kosovo, but at the same time, when I was there when I was younger, I did not feel at home. Like my home was Sweden. I'm, I'm really proud of playing for Sweden. I think it's really important for the national team in Sweden to be successful in the World Cup because of, we've been having struggles. Soccer's perennial bridesmaid, Sweden, has a World Cup pedigree laced with too many memories of close but no cigar, and plenty of pent-up fan frustration to go along with it. I also feel a lot of pressure on me because I've been with the national a long time and when we don't succeed, people don't just say negative stuff about Lota or someone else. They're, it's about me too. We want to be in the final and we want to do much better than we've been doing. For us, we want to recreate the memory that uh, Sweden has from uh, 2003 when they played the final. It's all going to be about being the best when it means the most. And I hope it's going to be this summer. Everyone that plays soccer, that's their dream to be where we are right now. So I just smile when I go out because I think it's so much fun.